Let's take a look at how we would connect to the Ingenious Wireless Access Point. So if you open up a web browser and you put in 192.168.1.1 and hit enter, that is the IP address of the access point. That's the default IP that comes when you take it out of the box. However, when you put that address in your computer, it may not work. So how do we fix that? Well, let's go down to your taskbar in the bottom right-hand corner, right-click on the little network connection, and choose Open Network and Sharing Center. Click on Change Adapter Settings, and then right-click on the lit up Ethernet connection that you have, or it might say Local Area Network or Wireless. Well, it won't say Wireless, but we'll get to that later. So now we see the IP version 4. So let's go ahead and double click on that. Now, if you have a static IP address, this is really easy. All you have to do is click the Advanced button and then click the under IP settings, the Add button, and then put in any IP address on the 192.168.1 network, anything you want, and then click Add. Now, when you're done, just go ahead and click OK, click OK, and then you should be able to connect. However, if your network connection looks more like this, you right click and you go to properties and you go to IC, uh, TCP IP4 it says automatically obtain IP address well then you got a problem so what you can do is you can temporarily set a static IP address anywhere on the 192.168.1 network so I'll put in one dot uh, let's choose 102 and then we'll go it doesn't matter what it is you put on there anything above one and, and 254 anywhere in between there is fine you don't need a gateway, you don't need a DNS server, you just need something on the one dot network. Now when you're done, click OK, click OK, and then you'll be able to connect. Now when you're done, go ahead and undo that. Go back in and change that to obtain IP address automatically. Otherwise, you won't be able to get it back out to the internet. So let's go ahead and click OK. I've already got my network set to dot one on my other network card. I actually have two network cards, which you may or may not have on yours and I've connected to the 1.1 network. So I go ahead and put in my username, my password, and click login, and there it is. Now let's go ahead and change that IP address by clicking on the Network Basic button. So I want to make it to be on the same as my internal subnet. So what we can do is go to our command prompt, and let's go ahead and find out what is our subnet. So you need to type IP config, hit enter, and you're going to see two different IP addresses. You're going to see the one for one dot something, and you're going to see the other for what the network actually is, which is 15.2. So I know I'm on a 15 network. So I'll go ahead and minimize that. Now I'm going to change my IP address from 1.1 to 15.100, and I'm going to change my gateway to 15.1, because that's what it said down in here, where it says default gateway. 192.168.15.1. All right, so now I'm going to be able to connect to it using my regular internal subnet. Go ahead and click Save. And then go ahead and click Changes and Apply. So if you had to set a static IP address earlier, go back in and change it to automatic, just like I showed you. Network, and, uh, uh, network Sharing Center, right click on your network. Go back to TCP IP4 and then go from use the following address to back to obtain an IP address and DNS automatically. All right, so once that's done, you click OK. Don't click Cancel. Click OK. And now I'm going to connect on the new subnet. So 192.168.15.100. Enter. I should get the new website, which I'm sure I will in just one second. Probably just needs to refresh. And after a few more seconds website refreshed and now we're logged in. So that's how we connect to the Ingenious Wireless Access Point Wave 2. Stay tuned for other videos where we show even more advanced features of the Ingenious Wireless products.